coming to the six stages of cervical vertebral maturation. These were described by Hassel and Farman in 1995. These stages are Initiation Acceleration Transition Deceleration Maturation Completion And now we will discuss them one by one. Stage 1 is Initiation. The lower borders of all the three vertebrae, C2, C3, C4, are flat. The bodies of both C3 and C4 are trapezoid in shape. 100% of pubertal growth remains. The peak in mandibular growth will occur on average two years after this stage. Stage 2 is acceleration. A concavity is present at the lower border of C2 and C3 begins to develop. The absence of a concavity at the lower borders of C4. The bodies of both C3 and C4 are nearly rectangular in shape. 65 to 85 percent of pubertal growth remains. The peak in mandibular growth will occur on average one year after this stage. Stage 3 is transition. The door to the peak concavities at the lower borders of both C2 and C3 are present. A lower concavity begins to develop on C4. Vertebral bodies of 3rd and 4th are rectangular in shape. 25 to 65 percent growth remains. The peak in mandibular growth will occur during the year after this stage. The amount of elongation of the mandible is greater than the two years before and the years after puberty. Stage 4 is deceleration stage. Distinct concavities can be observed on the inferior borders of 2nd, 3rd, and 4th cervical vertebrae. Vertebral bodies of 3rd and 4th begin to be more square in shape. 10 to 25% of pubertal growth remains. The peak in mandibular growth has occurred within one or two years before this stage. The main characteristic is concavity at lower border of C4 plus the peak interval ends at this stage or has ended. Stage 5 is maturation stage. Marked concavities are observed on the inferior borders of 2nd, 3rd and 4th cervical vertebrae. Vertebral bodies of 3rd and 4th are almost square in shape. 5 to 10% of pubertal growth remains. The concavities at the lower borders of C2, C3, and C4 still are present. At least one of the bodies of C3 and C4 is squared in shape, others are rectangular horizontal. The peak in mandibular growth, growth spurt, has ended at least one year before this stage. Stage 6 is completion. Deep concavities are observed on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th cervical vertebrae. Vertebral bodies are greater in dimension vertically than horizontally. Pubertal growth has been completed. The concavities at the lower borders of C2, C3, and C4 still are evident. At least one of the bodies of C3 and C4 is rectangular vertical in shape, others are squared. The peak in mandibular growth has ended at least two years before this stage. CS6 shows you the timing that you should send a patient to orthognathic surgery. Advantage the orthodontist could obtain additional information about the growth potential in the adolescent patient by observing the anatomical changes of the cervical vertebrae, thereby formulation of a treatment could be made.